This is a collection of autographs that I acquired from my father. He was born in 1920, lived just outside of Boston, and uh, was able to go to the, the Boston Red Sox and Boston Braves baseball games. And when he's a teenager, early teens, he decided he wanted to create a collection of autographs. So he wrote a handwritten letter to the player. The letter said basically, I'm collecting autographs of all the greatest players of, of all time, and would you mind sending it back to me? What he was most proud of is that every single player that he sent a letter to returned the autograph to him. He only has 12 autographs in the book, but uh, eight of the 12 players made it to the Hall of Fame. Right. So. so his list of who he considered the best in the game, or one of the best in the game, was a pretty tight and factual list. Exactly. Tell so. me about the baseballs. The baseballs, I don't have a whole lot of background on that other than he did get to Florida occasionally in the wintertime. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing that that was probably spring training and he uh, corralled a bunch of players in the lobby of a hotel they were all staying at. Mm -hmm. When Babe Ruth was playing his last year in Boston with the Braves in 1935, he went to a game with a baseball glove and actually caught a foul ball from Babe Ruth. And that was tucked in this shoebox with all of the, the other yeah. collectibles. And uh, I'm, I'm one of five boys in the family who love to get out and, and throw and, and bat baseballs in the backyard. And somehow that baseball is missing oh, today. No. So I'm, I'm afraid to report that that's probably one of those balls that uh, are sitting in a field someplace near our home. Incredible. Well, it's incredible the condition that you kept these in. You just don't find the signatures in the condition like this. On the baseballs, the closest one to me here is a 1930 Boston Braves partial team sign ball. There's about nine signatures on that one with Rabbit Moranville on the panel that we're showing there. The next one, it is the Philadelphia A's. It's considered a full team ball with 19 signatures. It's 1928 to 1930. Okay. Can't pinpoint the exact year because everybody that's on this ball played several years on the team. Okay. And the last ball, the most important one, is a really rare 1933 Washington Senators huh. team sign ball. Okay. In beautiful condition. They won the AL pennant that year and lost the World Series to the New York Giants. Interesting. It's a real important baseball, and there's only been maybe one or two in that condition I've ever seen. Wow. Okay. We have the Cy Young, incredible condition, absolutely zero fading whatsoever. Babe Ruth in the center there. And then the Honus Wagner, where he wrote Pirate, 1934. Right. And the one we have shown here is Tris Speaker, Hall of Fame center fielder, played for four different teams in his career. Do you have any idea of the values on these? I, I'm guessing all in maybe, I don't know, three or four thousand dollars. I, I, I don't really know. The partial team signed 1930 Braves ball. I'd put the value on that one for insurance purposes at about a thousand dollars. Okay. The 1928 to 30 Philadelphia A's ball, you're talking for insurance purposes, four thousand dollars. Wow. Okay. And then the Washington Senators ball, tough ball to find in that condition. I would put the insurance on that at six thousand dollars. Wow. Okay. On the signatures, Cy Young, easily insure that for a thousand. Wow. The Honus Wagner, signed album page, easily insure that one for a thousand as well. And then the Babe Ruth, they just don't get much nicer than that for an album page. I'd insure that one for eight thousand dollars. Eight, wow. Okay. Hmm. And then lastly, your album with what we didn't take out of there, of course, we have Tris Speaker, we have Mordecai Brown, and about six or seven others, I believe, mm -hmm. on that album, you'd want to insure that for four thousand dollars. Wow. Terrific. Okay. So in total, I would insure this group here today for $25,000. Really? Wow. Mm -hmm. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Terrific. Thank you. <laughs>